Real Madrid switch transfer targets. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer defences United. Stars, James is wanted at Napoli. We've got a roundup of all the day's transfer rumours and, of course, this week's great debate. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Fodick. You were the one footballers and this is the Daily News. First off from Real Madrid are no longer looking at Paul Pogba as a realistic transfer target and have instead got their eye on Christian Eriksen. Both have been on Real Madrid's radar for a few months now, but it looks like Eriksen will come at a cheaper price and with far less baggage because he's entering the final year of his contract at Tottenham. He'll be available for a much cheaper price and Real Madrid have actually opened the bidding. They've offered 27 million plus Danny Ceballos for the Danish international. Now, I know what you're thinking. 27 million is nowhere near what Christian Eriksen is worth. But when you consider the fact that Tottenham are actually interested in Danny Ceballos as well, this really, really sweetens the deal. Spurs were reportedly willing to pay around 35 million for the Spaniard, meaning that if you take that, plus the 27 million, you get to around 62 million by my maths. That may be a little bit underwhelming for Christian Eriksen, but as mentioned before, entering the last year of his contract, it's a pretty good deal for Spurs. As for Paul Pogba, they'd probably have to pay close to 150, and that's just really not worth it. But speaking of the Frenchman, and he's been defended by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his press conference on their pre-season tour of Australia. Solskjaer did really well to deflect the fact that all the talk was about Pogba reportedly having a fight with Jesse Lingard, and said that there's actually an agenda against the midfielder. This may not necessarily be true, but what Solskjaer has done is defend his players and not add further fuel to the fire. We all know that Pogba can be a bit of a hassle, but maybe it's all just taken out of context. When it comes to the media, that is definitely something that could happen. Personally, I think Pogba is a great player, does try his best for the club, but just doesn't have the best way of going about it. Certainly, his body language is slightly off now and again, but I think he could be doing a lot worse, which he definitely isn't. For one, he's actually turned up to training, which is more than could be said for the likes of Antoine Griezmann and Neymar. Solskjaer also did mention in his press conference that he'd really hoped David De Gea would sign a new deal as they've offered him a new contract up to 300k per week to stop him leaving on a free transfer in a year's time. And next up to another midfielder who may be on the move and it's James Rodriguez. I say may be on the move, he's definitely going to be on the move. He's just come back from a two-year loan at Bayern Munich. They didn't want to keep him. Real Madrid certainly don't want him. So where's he going to end up? Well, there were fleeting rumours that he could join crosstown rivals Atletico Madrid, but it looks like, after all, he will be going to Syria and joining Napoli. Carlo Ancelotti has admitted that he's a big fan of Hammers, having worked with him at Real Madrid and knows all about his strength and can see him fitting in the team very well. With all the attacking players that Napoli have got, I can see Hammers doing a fantastic job and getting a load of assists. Ancelotti did say that whether or not Hammers will come, they don't know, but he certainly hopes so. The one stumbling block may, of course, be the price. Now, if Napoli were to sell one of their big stars like Khalidou Koulibaly, they'd have loads of money. In fact, Real Madrid only want around 42 million for Hammers. But they're not going to be selling Koulibaly, and it doesn't look like they'll be getting much money from elsewhere, so a loan deal is obviously preferred from Napoli, but not from Real Madrid. We'll wait to see how this one pans out, but it looks like Hammers will definitely be on the move. So next up, we come to a roundup of all the transfer rumours, where Alberto Moreno has joined Villarreal after his Liverpool contract expired. Arsenal have been offered the chance to sign Real Madrid forward Mariano Diaz for just 20 million euros. Arsenal, Liverpool and Leicester are all interested in Southampton's Mario Lamina and Juventus have rejected a 30 million euro bid from Everton for their forward Moyes Key. So lastly but not least we come to this week's great debate. For those of you who know what it's about, the guys in the One Football Newsroom pose a question for all of you lot to leave your answers in the comment section down below. You can of course find their answer and mine in the relevant article in the One Football app. But for the comment section, we want to know who has been the greatest summer signing so far. There are so many to choose from and it doesn't necessarily have to be the most expensive. For me, it's going to be Tangoy Undombele. Although I think it might be pronounced Tangi Undombele. Anyway, what he's done is moved to Spurs and it really shows a sign of how far Spurs have come that they've managed to attract the midfielder to the club whilst he was being scouted by many other top European teams. Okay, 63 million euros is quite a lot of money, but when you're getting a quality midfielder like him, it can only be good things. I'd be very, very surprised if he turned out to be a massive flop. Of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section about who you think is the greatest summer signing so far and your thoughts on all of the rest of the daily news. Do you think Paul Pogba really is that much of a pain in the ass? And will Hammers be a great signing for Napoli? Of course, once you're down there, you can also smash the like button and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I will see you guys later.